Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm recapping my Hawaii tour earlier in February of 2020. I was gifted a flight and a discounted package to a hotel in Waikiki in Oahu. And so, at the beginning of February, I flew over to tour. I've been to the Big Island previously, where I've ziplined and biked from the top of the volcano and walked on old lava. However, this time it was going to be a little bit touristy and more for relaxation while incorporating some play. Upon arrival, I took a walk around the area and was hungry, so I got a locomoco at a place that was highly recommended called the Rainbow Drive-In. It was so filling, but incredibly delicious. I stayed at the Queen Kapiolani and they had a gorgeous mezzanine. And of course, since it was the full moon, my first night there, I was able to find local fire spinners. It was their first time doing their meetup by an old fort and it was cool to see how young Hawaii spinners blow. I walked along the water as the temperature was perfect and found these huge trees with long roots that came all the way down to the ground from their branches. And then I tucked in for the day. The next morning, I decided that I was going to take a tour and didn't want to eat on the main strip as I know that they upcharge for breakfast and I wanted to try more local cuisines. So I went to one of the side streets and found a place called Shorefire, which had an awesome Kahlua Benedict. I walked from breakfast all the way to the International Marketplace just to check out how the malls looked and they were decorated for Chinese New Year. Then I took a shuttle to the Hanauma Bay area and didn't go down to see the beaches but looked at them from afar because it was actually surprisingly crowded. Instead, I walked along another part of the beach and sat and enjoyed the water there. From the beach, I hiked towards Coco Head and wasn't able to make that climb but I took my silk fans and flowed against the mountains. The cliff sides were so beautiful with all of the eroded ridges of the rocks as well as where the water meets the edges. I made it to the Hanola blowhole which was available for a splash zone. Waves are really powerful here and you can really feel the essence of the Pacific Ocean around you. I continued taking a shuttle to Waimanalo Beach towards the zoo and just stayed on as it circled back towards Waikiki. Of course, I had to try how Hawaii does shaved ice and so I went to Wailoa and it was the fluffiest ice I've ever tasted. I think the flavors I got were mango, tiger's blood, and lily koi. In addition to trying local shaved ice, of course I had to try poke, and the best one that was recommended was Ono Seafood. This is run by an older couple, they were so cute. I went back towards the hotel and since it was Friday, an article said that there were fireworks that happened all along the shore and so I went out to the pier and waited for the spectacle. For dinner, I decided to go into downtown and one of the higher rated restaurants was The Pig and the Lady. It's a pig inspired Vietnamese fusion restaurant that had so many delicious things on their menu and I didn't even get to try any of the full course meals. I ended up trying a lot of the appetizers which acted like tapas. The dessert also looked phenomenal. The next day I went to the KCC open market in Diamond Head since it was the weekend. 
And I found the pig and the lady there as well, where they are super smart and have exclusive dishes that they only serve at this market. It cannot be found in their restaurants. So of course, I had to try their banh mi and their meatball sandwich for brunch. I also was fascinated by this sugarcane juice and decided to purchase a cup with no ice and added lily koi. I walked towards Diamond Head Vista Point and saw a bunch of surfers in the distance. It decided to rain, so I took a shuttle back to the Waikiki Strip. But the sun came out and it was warm enough to go into the water, so I enjoyed splashing in the waves for a little bit. The best way to dry off was under the sun. Happy hour was approaching quickly and I decided to go to Tiki's Grill and Bar, which was at another hotel on the Strip. I love that everything is super walkable and because this was right on the corner, you can overlook the beach while you ate and drank to your heart's content. While the sun was setting, I decided to head back towards downtown to take a look at the King Kamehameha statue that was in front of an important landmark, as well as check out the gates of the Iolani Palace, and of course, City Hall. That evening, I went to Scarlet Honolulu, which is a drag bar, and queens were fantastic. Their outfits were amazing, and they were extremely flexible. The next day, I started out early in the morning and then headed to brunch, well, it was a late lunch really, at Basalt. And I tried their local moko as well as charcoal pancakes before walking to Waikiki once again. I really miss these tall trees. I had some time to take a dip in the water once again and enjoy the sun. Then that afternoon, I spent my drink tokens on the deck and enjoyed the view of the mountains. That evening, I went to Uncle Bo's Poo Poo Bar and Grill and the Boca Roti was the best thing and I ate it in two minutes. I passed by the Rainbow Drive-In on the way back to my hotel. It was the first place I ate at and the last thing that I would see that evening. I had a flight the next afternoon, so in the morning, I was able to fit in one more session before heading towards La Mariana Sailing Club. People have considered this as the last real tiki bar in Honolulu, so I decided to have brunch here. It was extremely windy and rainy the entire time that I was sitting indoors, but when I arrived and when I left, it was clear. I had their poke, and the fish is so fresh. and their chocolate macadamia ice cream was bomb. The final tropical drinks were good and strong before leaving for the airport. And the next day, my mom picked me up to head to San Francisco. I went to my favorite sushi places, as well as wine and dined at a local Peruvian place, which was reminiscent to my trip previous year to Machu Picchu. I walked and flowed in Land's End, ate some fantastic Vietnamese food at Le Soleil. I even visited the Twitch headquarters, which was really cool, and had an interactive digital aquarium. Walked around Knob Hill, this used to be some old rich guy's house. Visited Chinatown. The gate looks smaller than simpler than I remember from my childhood. Visited the Fairmont and checked out their premises. I would have loved to have tried dining there, but it wasn't the day to do that. Instead, I visited the rooftop garden with flowers. 
and then went across the street to the Mark Hopkins, which is part of the Intercontinental family. It was back to Los Angeles. Where I danced with a bunch of other burners. We shot a new trailer with people wearing the Oculus Quest headset, dancing to choreography for Audio Trip. Let me know if you catch me on the intro to one of the games. The following is a montage of what happened pre-pandemic when life was still good. <laughs> I toured the Millennium Biltmore, which is a wonderful hotel that I actually stayed in as I was graduating college for the Seagraph Conference. I was also able to visit this new bar, which was right by Seven Grand, which was called V Downtown LA. The Maitre d' also gave me a personal tour as I was in love with the interior design. It used to actually be an old bank, which they've converted and still use the back vault for private events and small parties. I had a meet and greet at Tao, which is an amazing restaurant with this gorgeous amphitheater type of layout in Hollywood. I wore my faux fur, decided to get some food at the conservatory and was able to enter their society room, which is a speakeasy behind the bar. I was amping up my goddess brand for dancing for musical events. However, due to the pandemic, of course, we had to stop, but you could check out my performance for Desert Dwellers at the Wisdom in Los Angeles, as well as my appearance in EcoZoo and Bachelor of Science's music video, Ride the Wave. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it so that others can view where I tour. And until next time, be safe and have fun.